Okay, let's get started. So today I received a question that says, if the original check was part of the actual deposit, that should not be unclicked as it will not tie into the bank statement. How can you issue a refund to the customer who paid on an invoice when you want to refund the payment, but also keep the original invoice as open? Okay, so let's get started. So let's create a bank deposit. And I'm going to say that the bank deposit was 2500 So these two were paid in that deposit. And um, I don't have the difference that totals the 2500 because I don't want it to be tied to an invoice since we want the invoice to remain open. So what we are going to do is go to add funds to this deposit. And I'm going to select the, the hypothetical customer. I'm going to select an income account. You could write a note uh, as to what's going on. I'm going to say it was check one, two, three. And the deposit that I'm making is for 2,500. So let's see, the difference would be 437 and 48 cents. Okay, so now we have the amount that's going to hit the bank statement. However, we didn't apply this deposit from Diego to an invoice because we want the invoice to remain open. Okay, so once we're done, we're gonna hit save and close. Now we have the bank deposit for 2,500. And now I'm gonna refund Diego. And I'll look at the customer name, uh, select the payment method, let's just say it's a check. And uh, Four, five, six. And now here in the category, we're going to select design income again, write your, your notes. And here it's going to be the amount that of the refund, which is the same amount that we deposited, I'm assuming. And then let's select Diego's name in here again. Again, you can write a memo, attach anything you need, write a description, but let's just say everything's good to go. So now let's hit save and close. Okay, so now we made the refund. So let's go to reports, profit and loss. Let's make sure the dates are correct. And if you remember, I selected design income. So now, today, on the 6th, we have uh, an, a deposit transaction here showing the money came in and then here we have the check the refund check showing the money went out so this zeros out and if we open the deposit it'll show the 2500 that's going to clear in the bank account and uh and then whatever invoice uh you would have applied it to will remain open and just like that uh simple that's how you um that's how you receive a payment without applying it to an invoice, leaving the invoice open. And that's how you refund the check so that it zeroes out. And then in your reconciliation, you'll see the $2,500 deposit with those three uh, receipt payments. And you'll see a check going out for $2,500, or I'm sorry, $437.48 the moment it clears.